Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean from DiabeticFighter.com. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can use intermittent fasting to lower your blood sugar. Okay, so intermittent fasting, fasting. It is the most effective and efficient way to lower the blood sugar in your body. Lowering the blood sugar in your body also lowers the insulin in your body. When you lower the insulin in your body, then you can start burning fat. Perfect situation, right? Low blood sugar, low insulin, burning fat. Everyone wants to do that. No exercise required. Fasting is something that's been used by many different cultures all over the world for centuries. Uh, it's why we call it breakfast, break fast. Uh, historically, our society, you know, would only eat three square meals a day and in the evening they would fast until morning and then they would break fast. It's only recent years that uh, our culture has switched to a refined sugar um, and have kind of gotten into this cycle of just overeating. Obviously, it's very apparent when we look around. So when you fast for 12 to 16 hours, you're not putting any sugar or any protein or any fat into your body. Uh, you, you may drink water, you may drink tea, uh, and this creates an environment where you start burning the blood sugar that's in your, your body for fuel. It lowers, then the insulin responds by lowering, then you may start burning fat as fuel. Uh, you know, for energy. So uh, how to do a fast. So typically I do my fast for 16 hours. Uh, I'll eat my dinner, um, maybe have a snack or a shake or something like that at seven or eight o'clock. And then I'll fast until around two uh, or so the next day. When I break my fast, then I eat a meal consisting of protein and fats. So usually eggs, avocados. Those are my go-to as you guys can see uh, from all the other videos. So people ask, well, if I'm fasting, am I gonna be hungry? Am I gonna have no energy? Well, no, uh, actually the, the exact opposite is true. Uh, when you fast, your body actually releases more growth hormone. Adrenal glands uh, secrete more adrenals. So intermittent fasting can be used every week, uh, multiple times a week if you'd like. I, in fact, always fast if I know I have a big meal coming up the next day, like a family dinner or something like that. I'll do a fast the night before. That lowers my blood sugar down to a baseline uh, and also restricts my calories for the following days. Try it for 12 hours to start off then up it towards 16 hours. 16 hours is the ideal spot. Uh, give it a try. If you like this video and you'd like to learn more about how I eat to beat diabetes or talk with me directly, join my absolute free private support group of diabetic fighters. There's a button up above in Facebook called sign up as well. There'll be a link in the description below in YouTube. Click on that, put your email in there. I'll send you an invite and I'll see you in the group.